Hey there, today we're here to talk about gout. Know anything about it? Well, a lot of people actually don't. For instance, did you know that it's the most common form of inflammatory arthritis? Or that gout can sometimes progress to a more severe form that may lead to disability and diminished quality of life? Well, trust me, with all we know today, gout is no longer just a problem for kings to worry about. So today I'm here with my friends, and we're here to talk candidly about gout, something that affects all of us here, and I bet a lot of you out there watching too. You know, I remember when I had my first gout flare-up, my toe just swelled up, it was so red, it was so painful that I couldn't even put a, a bed sheet across it without being excruciating pain and screaming. But from what you told me about gout, it seems like there's something different from my flare-ups than, than, than yours. Is that true? I'll speak to that, uh, you know, it's, um I've got chronic, uh, chronic gout, and it's, I've been suffering for over 20 years. I had flare-ups, but they would go away, and, and, and I sort of ignored it. And over the years, uh, that uric acid built up in my joints. It, it's, it forms uh, uh, it's what's called tophi. It gets to destroy your joints, and it, 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 uh, it actually froze up some of my fingers where I couldn't, I couldn't hold a golf club or I couldn't uh, hold a pen to write my name. So. Uh, it's uh, left untreated or ignored can, can really cause some damage. So any gout that you have can kind of progress into a severe gout, is, is that correct, Doctor? We think of it as a chronic disease state. Mm -hmm. it, it shows up as an acute flare initially, and then the frequency of the flares increases, and finally one progresses to the point, as Joe's describing, with tophaceous change, meaning these big time collection of crystals overlying the joint space or elsewhere. What about other risks? with high uric acid. We see patients who are cared for by cardiologists and by dermatologists and by our internist friends. And the reason for it is that they have comorbid conditions. They carry other diagnoses, which put them square in the face of gout. There are millions of people with unidentified gout who are known to have a high cholesterol or to be hypertensive or to be diabetic. How does it affect your work and, and your daily life. Sure. I am a pretty active guy and uh, you know I try to work out about four to five times a week and uh, when you have a flare up it, it knocks you out for a few days so uh, it gets frustrating. It's probably frustrating for your family too. I mean your new wife especially she was probably shocked her right? Yeah I mean there's a there's a more of a lack of awareness for for uh, people in our age range. Uh, a lot of my friends don't really know a ton about it so uh, when there's a flare up in the office I mean some days I'll go to the office and I have to wear a suit and tie every day, and my, uh, I'll have to wear just well, one shoe and one sandal. It's difficult. How does it affect your family? How does it affect your relationship with your family, with your wife and your children? One of the unusual things about gout is you can never tell when it's going to flare up. You can be at your child's wedding. You can be uh, on a golf trip. You can be anywhere. You know, you might go to bed feeling fine, and 3 o'clock in the morning you're on the, what, what, you know, who's got the hot poker to your foot or, or wherever. You just absolutely didn't know when it was going to, uh, going to hit you. And it just really put a damper on, on the family life. And you said it, you know, uh, guys out there are really stubborn about pain. And uh, look, don't man up and stomach it. You're really being uh, kind of ignorant about it. And believe me, I've done it myself. Just go to a rheumatologist. I'd really say just to get checked out early. If uh, it's known in the family that it's hereditary and uh, you know your mom or your dad. Or your well, you had it in your family. Didn't did. you listen to him? I didn't. So Why didn't to, you listen to him? Because I'm a tough Chicago guy just like yourself. <laughs> so, uh, I was too proud to do it. And finally, when finally pushed, I'm really glad I did. Once. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, yeah, How about I, you? you? You were stubborn. Extremely stubborn. And I, you know, I, People can, you know, that uh, I've got friends and people that and co-workers that have had gout attacks before, and I said, well, you know, let's go get, go get checked out by a rheumatologist. You don't want to certainly go through what I went through with the buildup of the uric acid and the tophi and all the all the things over the years I've been uh, been been uh, unable to do. So, go go see a rheumatologist and get the correct uh, diagnosis. Well, we hope you learned a thing or two about gout today. So be sure to visit creakyjoints.org for more information on gout. And to connect with other people facing the same challenges gout throws at you. And don't forget, if you're experiencing the signs and symptoms of gout, don't try to tough it out like I once did. Go and see a rheumatologist and get your gout in check.